Some players are getting two free horses. What is going on? Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to talk about a very interesting phenomena that has been going on since I think the last Wednesday, maybe a bit longer, but I'm not sure, where people got basically two free horses. In Star Stable, you can only get one free horse. I mean, I guess there was a time when SSO gave away a free birthday horse, but that was a limited time thing. A horse that you can get for free anytime is the horse that you get from Druid Training. I actually made a video, you know, showing all of the steps of how to get it. But after completing all of the Druid Training, you basically get this free horse. It is called the Rune Runner. It has the North Swedish horse model and all of that. But again, you can only get one. But lately, as I said, some people have been getting two, which I mean, I guess it's the exact same horse, but even if that is the case, like who wouldn't want to get an extra free horse? So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a little more. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot. And now let's get into it. So to actually get the Rune Runner, you have to get, I think it's 120,000 XP points with Roy Training and once you complete that, you get a quest which basically celebrates all of your achievements and at the end you get the Rune Runner horse, you can name it, whatever you want, but you can't customize any other aspect of it. But as I said, some people actually got this quest again or they got it before they even completed the Druid training. So what is going on? A while ago, SSO did a thing where they fixed some of the older quests. Like, not even that old. Like, the Druid training, I think, is three years old now. So yeah, they fixed the quests. Maybe the dialogue wasn't all right. The NPCs... Maybe some people were floating in the air, something was missing, or it was just overall bugged. So again, SSO just fixed those quests, but with some quests you get special rewards and obviously with this one you get a free horse. I saw someone talk about this a few days ago on Reddit, but today I actually saw a video of someone getting this quest when they haven't even completed the Druid training yet, so here's the video. Honestly, I would just consider myself lucky if I get two horses. I did check if I have this quest on any of my two accounts and sadly I don't. So I'll just have to be happy with the rune runner that I have on my main and maybe the rune runner that I might get in the very distant future on my second account. So yeah, I would honestly check if you have this quest because a free horse is a free horse. But okay, let's just talk about this for a little bit. What will SSO do about this? Under the video that I showed, like the TikTok from before, someone commented that their friend got the quest and they got the horse again and then they contacted the SSO team and they got banned. So honestly, I like even if you have the quest completed, get the horse, I I wouldn't really message the SSO team because the customer support doesn't really like read the emails, all of that, so they would just see that you quote unquote glitched or something and would ban you. They would just see you saying you got another free horse and they would be like, oh no, even though it is not your fault, it's not even like you were doing a glitch, it's not like some XP bug like the one in Veildale that was available a while ago. This is a quest that appears on your quest log that you can do it and it's not your fault that the reward is a horse. So yeah, if you do have a quest, I would honestly do it and just 
not say anything, you know, not report it to the SSO team. And honestly, I don't think the SSO team would even take it away. I don't see how that would work out because it's not the player's fault. It's the company's fault. It's not as though the players somehow put the quest back into the game. It was the company, the SSO team, fixing up the quest or messing something up and putting the quest back into the game. And I mean, some players might have even unknowingly done it. It's a very strange situation. Honestly, if you do get banned, I would just contact some like influencers on I don't know, probably Instagram to raise awareness because again, it's not your fault. I mean, honestly, if anything, I would just feign innocence like, oh no, I didn't know. Even if you knew, again, it's not like you were glitching or breaking the game's terms of service. You literally did a quest that was available for you, you know? So if anyone gets banned, I would literally contact like each and every person that has any kind of following on social media because that's literally the only way to get unbanned it seems like it's SSO's fault people are getting two free courses and I am kind of jealous honestly I do have to be honest I wish I got two free run runners a lot of us already did all of the hard work and I feel like we just have to be rewarded twice we deserve it the funny thing about this situation, I feel like, is, you know, anytime there's something like this, I always say, like, don't say anything to SSO because you will get banned. And I don't think it's only me, but yeah, I just think it's kind of sad how there's so little trust in the company, the support team, because I feel like time and time again, they have shown that, you know, they don't, like, thoroughly read the email or still ban you even if you try to help. Honestly, I would even, like, be quite quote unquote afraid to like message them just knowing about the bug N like not even doing it just saying oh there's this quest people are getting another free horse because i don't know like you never know what they might do and i wouldn't really risk getting banned honestly if anything i would just maybe create a completely new account and message them from there but I'm sure by now they already know that this is happening and will try to fix it as soon as possible. But I mean, today's Sunday, they don't really work today, so I would just hop onto the game and see if I have the quest available. But again, I do think that they'll fix it very soon and I don't actually think that they'll remove the horses. I think this is a very different thing from removing some character XP and I don't even know if they have, like, the right to do that because again you didn't break any rules you just did the quest you know but i don't know i honestly think it's a kind of funny situation but let me know what you think about it did you get the quest again and are you going to do it let me know in the comments down below but as always i hope you enjoyed and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye